The chromosome theory of inheritance states that genes are located on chromosomes. In 1910, Thomas Hunt Morgan crossed certain strains of the fruit fly, Drosophila melanogaster, and discovered sex linkage, the presence of genes on the sex chromosome of eukaryotes. Morgan studied a gene affecting eye color in Drosophila melanogaster. The wild type eye color is red, while the mutant eye color is white. This gene is located on the X chromosome. Females may have two wild-type alleles, red eyes, two mutant alleles, white eyes, or be heterozygous, red eyes. Males have only one X chromosome, so they may have either one wild-type allele, red eyes, or one mutant allele, white eyes. There is no equivalent gene on the Y chromosome in males. Morgan crossed a red-eyed female with a white-eyed male. The female is homozygous for the wild-type allele, with the genotype W plus W plus. The male is hemizygous with the genotype WY. The female produces only one type of gamete, with an X chromosome carrying the W plus allele. The male produces two types of gametes, one with the X chromosome carrying the W allele and the other with the Y chromosome. The male and female gametes fuse, leading to the development of the F1 generation. All of the F1 females are heterozygous and have red eyes because the W plus allele is dominant to the W allele. All of the F1 males receive the X chromosome with the W plus allele from their mother and have red eyes. Genotypically, they are W plus Y. Interbreeding the F1 flies produces the F2 generation. The F1 female produces two types of gametes, one with the X chromosome having the W plus allele, and the other with an X chromosome having the W allele. The F1 male produces two types of gametes, one with an X chromosome having the W plus allele, and the other with the Y chromosome. Fusion of the male and female gametes leads to development of the F2 generation. There is a 3 to 1 ratio of red-eyed to white-eyed flies. However, if you look at the sexes separately, you see there are differences based on sex. The females are all red-eyed, one half with the genotype W plus W plus, and one half with the genotype W plus W. The males all receive the Y chromosome from their fathers, so their phenotype depends upon the X chromosome received from their mothers. Of the F2 males, one half are red-eyed with the genotype W plus Y, and one half are white-eyed with the genotype WY. Morgan also crossed a white-eyed female with a red-eyed male. This is the reciprocal of his first cross. All females produce one type of gamete having the W allele on their X chromosome. Males produce two types of gametes, one with the W plus allele on the X chromosome and the other with the Y chromosome. Fusion of these gametes produces red-eyed females, all having the genotype W plus W, and white-eyed males having the genotype WY. This result is distinctly different from Morgan's earlier cross. Interbreeding of the F1 flies produces the F2 generation. The W plus W red-eyed F1 female produces two types of gametes, one with an X chromosome with the W plus allele and the other with an X chromosome bearing the W allele. The WY white-eyed F1 male produces two types of gametes, one with the X chromosome bearing the W allele and the other with the Y chromosome. Fusion of the F1 gametes leads to development of the F2 generation. The overall ratio is one half red-eyed and one half white-eyed. However, if we look closely, we see that one half of the F2 females are red-eyed and one half are white-eyed. The males all receive a Y chromosome from their fathers, so their eye color depends on the X chromosome inherited from their mothers. One half of the F2 males are red-eyed and one half are white-eyed. 
Comparison of these reciprocal crosses demonstrates that for an X-linked recessive trait, there will be apparent phenotypic differences between males and females in both the F1 and F2 generations. Morgan's discovery of X-linked genes strongly supported the chromosome theory of inheritance.